Hi, my name is Paul Dean. I'm the Chief of Police and Assistant Vice President for Public Safety and Risk Management at the University of New Hampshire. Good morning, my name is Chris Clement. I'm the Vice President for Finance and Administration for the University of New Hampshire. Great. Clear accreditation creates a foundation uh, within the University of New Hampshire Police Department that uh, just exudes excellence. Um, the, the staff and the officers are, are engaged in the CLIA process, and while they're engaged in the CLIA process, they're actually making the agency better, and they're making themselves better as a professional. Some examples of that that, that, I, that I shared with, uh, with some of the commissioners was uh, the all-inclusive way that the staff uh, get involved in the CLIA process. So the accreditation manager posts all the standards right after the accreditation process, so after, actually after the year, uh, and those officers engage in trying to actually get uh, as many standards done as they possibly can, and of course they get a chief's award for that when they, when they, when they get done, but it helps them understand some of the uh, integral parts of, of accreditation. It allows them to take a deep dive into accreditation, even though they're trying to get proofs. They're, they're, they're learning all about accreditation, and sometimes they're learning a little bit about areas of the police department that they don't know anything about, so they get a better feeling for the agency. My background is in advanced manufacturing from a, from a global perspective, and everything that we do in private sector manufacturing is process improvement. And through the CLIA process and watching Chief Dean and UPD following a very structured improvement process, um, that shows me early on in my career here at the University of New Hampshire that Chief and his team is process improvement driven. And when you're making investments in, in the campus community, UPD is one part of that. But when you see that uh, there's a plan, there's a strategic plan, and there's a way to improve the organization, when you're making investments, whether it be capital, whether it be new cars or equipment or PCs or so, so on and so forth, or operational investments, i.e. new officers, that helps me understand the investment level and what the return will be uh, in a simple sense. So long story short, UPD has done that. Um, I see a lot of private sector uh, you know, similarities in terms of what Chief is doing, and it helps me when I'm making that investment level or when I'm selling that investment level to the president and to the board of trustees that we have to invest more capital or we have to invest more operational expenses um, for UPD. I can sell that very easily, and moreover, I feel very confident myself in that investment, and it's a, it's really it's really a no brainer. Because the process that we use in, in, in CLIA uh, help reduce risks. The um, deep dives we take in areas of uh, use of force, uh, evidence collection, um, investigations, internal investigations, allow us to uh, get uh, to points where we, we put tripwires in place that allow us to catch things before they become a problem and that helps employees, that helps the organization, it protects the brand of the institution. One specific area that uh, recently was important was after the off-campus shooting at the University of Cincinnati, uh, campus law enforcement became under scrutiny uh, about, it, about its off-campus policing practices and its use of force. Our local media, like all media, uh, came to us to take a look at what we do. Kalia allowed me, unbeknownst to me, because it's just a thing we do, um, we're very forward-facing on our, on our data, we're very transparent. Uh, we were able to give them instantaneously uh, our use of force data, our use of force summaries, and the fact that we are accredited, our surrounding agencies, including the host uh, community that we're in, we're in, really came uh, to, our, to our aid and, and said that, you know, we want them uh, policing our communities. They're an accredited law enforcement agent, they're professional, we need their support. And I, I remember sitting back and going, wow, this is what the CALEA process did for me. I don't necessarily know how fast I would have been able to pull that information together. And I, and I think it would have sounded haphazard where we were able to just say, we're a professional organization, here's what we do. Do what you want with the information, and it, 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 it just really just ran one news cycle and done. Yeah, for any of the agencies that are not CLEAR certified, and they're trying, uh, they're thinking about that process, whether we should invest the energy and time in that, I would say absolutely yes, because as you just heard Chief Dean say, that accreditation gives you instant credibility.